hello everyone welcome back to my channel again so we are discussing about the model question papers uh, for the mathematics subject especially for the csc stream so today i will deal with the model question paper set to question number 2b from the model first okay we have discussed it so far varieties of problems you can go through i have provided the link in the description box so out of 800 families with five children each how many would have would you expect to have three boys means there are 800 families with uh, five children each so you have to decide you have to expect how many families will have uh, three boys and at least one boy and at most two boys okay assuming equal probabilities for boys and girls so you know already uh, the summation of probabilities of all the cases should be equal to one so it is telling that you have to assume equal probabilities for boys and girls means if the probability is always one so i can write probability for boys i am denoting it with p is equal to one upon two and for girls i will denote it by q it is always equal to 1 minus p and you can directly write here 1 by 2 just because probabilities are equal when you just sum up these probabilities you will get 1 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 it should be equal to 1 always this is the pu concept okay probability the sum of probabilities should be always equal to 1 over here okay and uh, now uh, you know already uh, here five children are there with the each family so i can denote n small n is equal to five children just because we are uh, usually using binomial uh, theorem, theorem in these particular type of questions so n is equal to 5 and also this 800 families is denoted by capital n 800 families are there okay now we are using binomial theorem to in these type of problems to find out the solution okay so binomial theorem is given by so binomial theorem is given by p of x is equal to n c x p of x q of n minus x this is your binomial theorem okay now put down the values accordingly so what is the n value 5 so 5 c x p p means probability of boys so 1 upon 2 raised power x q is equal to 1 upon 2 also so 1 by 2 raised power 5 minus x this is the general formula right so there are 800 families so we have to multiply 800 with this particular uh, p of x later on we will do it so first of all let's calculate what uh, we have to calculate in this question so three boys how many families will have three boys i can write here p of 3 x value i am taking 3 <clears throat> so three boys p of 3 is equal to 5 c 3 1 by 2 raised power 3 and then 1 by 2 5 minus 3 over here okay you can calculate this in the calc <clears throat> see here this is your 5c3 5 shift divide this is your c now alpha x 5cx into bracket start sorry bracket start this is your 1 by 2 1 by 2 bracket close raised power alpha x okay then multiplied by 1 by 2 raised power 5 minus 3 means 5 minus x i will take first then i will put down the values 5 minus alpha x okay so calc calc now x is equal to i have to put 3 value okay x is equal to 3 so i will get the value as 5 by 16 so p of 3 is your 5 by 16 now how many families are there 800 so you should multiply this 5 by 16 into 800 so which is equal to 5 by 16 into 800 you will get the exact value into 800 is equal to 250 so that means 250 families are expected 250 families are expected to have three boys okay now next question is at least one boy so now we have to calculate at least one boy and in the previous video also i have told you that you should remember at least and most what does at most means and at least at least means okay so first of all i will write here at least is equal to at least means greater or equal to zero okay so means uh, you can take uh, the probabilities from the beginning itself or in this particular question there are n is equal to uh, five five simply over here okay so i can take greater or equal to one means one i have to take also at least value should be one and um, there are another values for, for n also okay so i can write probability of one 
probability of 2 plus probability of 3 plus probability of 4 plus probability of 5 but at least it should be 1 okay in at most case that value should be the at most means uh, the up to that value uh, the probability should be ended okay in the next part i will show you the at most part so at least should be 1 and greater than it will be also okay so now calculate probability of 1 means you have to put down the value of x as 1 in this case as the formula is here <coughs> p, uh, p of x is equal to 5 cx 1 by 2 now instead of x you have to put one value okay so i can just go through here in the above part already it is calculated here now instead of x you have to put down the one value okay one sorry yes then here you have to put down the value as 1 okay 5c1 which is equal to 5 upon 32 so 5 upon 32 is the probability of 1 plus now you have to take 2 value instead of 1 delete 2 minus 2 okay 2 and here also you have to take 2 value which is equal to 5 by 16 so like that likewise you have to calculate these values okay so i will just write now the direct values over here next is probability of 3 will be 5 by 16 plus this probability of uh, 4 will be 5 by 32 plus 1 upon 32 okay when you just sum up these terms you will get 31 upon 32 this is your at least probability of at least at least one boy but how many families are there 800 so you have to multiply it with 800 into 31 upon 32 so 800 into 31 upon 32 which is equal to 775 so 775 families are expected 775 families are expected to have at least at least two boy sorry at least one boy at least one boy okay so now i have to calculate at most two boys at most two boys means p of x is less or equal to two uh, it means that at most two means two should be the last value before that how many probabilities are possible there you can take that value okay so what what is the possibility here so you can take probability of zero plus probability of 1 plus probability of 2 okay so in this similar fashion what we have calculated here in the Kelsey and CX like that okay so you can go through and calculate okay but uh, make sure you will not press the uh, on button here I have pressed on button so that it will not show it again okay so try to click on the AC button and definitely it will show again the NCX uh, whatever you have uh, put it in uh, the previous steps okay so now if i just calculate these values i will directly write here the values okay when you just put instead of x okay instead of this x you have to put zero first then one then two accordingly okay so that you will get values so p of zero is equal to one by 32 p of one you will get uh, five by 32 plus p of two you will get five by 16 when you just sum up these terms you will get one upon two but number of families are 800 so i have to multiply it with 800 into 1 upon 2 which is equal to 400 this is your probability of at most two boys okay therefore 400 families are expected are expected to have at most two boys okay so this is all about this particular question it's a very simple problem you can go through make sure uh, you will share this video to your all friends so that they will find some easiness in these type of chapters or modules over there so thanks for watching my video